My name is David Patton. When I started photography, I wanted to make art. But with bills to pay and a family to feed, I decided it would be better to be a working photographer than a starving artist. So I took a job as a photojournalist. 25 years and thousands of assignments later, it was time to go back to my first love. Come along as I follow my passion trying to create art that shows the essence of nature in a photograph. I'll be sharing my successes and my failures in hopes to inspire and educate. This is my journey. This is Riding the Edge. You might remember this location. I've shot here a number of times. Lately I've been working on doing some multi-frame panoramic images. The, the panoramic images are something that I don't have a lot in my uh, archive, in my portfolio. And I thought it'd be a good time to uh, revisit some of my favorite compositions, locations, and see if I can re-envision them, see them in a different way, see if they would work for a, a panorama. So that's what I'm out here today doing. I'm just uh, hitting some of my favorite spots along the creek and uh, seeing if I can make a, an image with uh, either a 6x12 or a 6x17 aspect ratio. That, that's the goal. Not everything fits well in that in that aspect ratio. So today we're uh, going to be trying to get a couple more. I recently did a video on my uh, Sing Monochrome channel that I uh, I was on the same creek doing a similar thing. Just made a couple. And today I'm probably just going to do a couple more. I'm just going to do this throughout the rest of the summer. Come back out here and look for shots that might work well as a panorama. You might have noticed that I'm using a, a digital camera. That is correct. I'm uh, back to using some uh, my digital camera for some stuff. And today I think, I, I think we'll talk a little bit about that. Why did I uh, start using my digital camera again and what does this mean about my film photography now this is a video my wife told me not to make <laughs> she's she's a wise lady but I, I like to be open I like to be uh, upfront about what I'm doing in my photography especially when it comes to this channel so as I'm uh, Looking for some photos here, working on some shots. We'll, we'll have a little conversation about where I am with my photography today. This composition, I've uh, put on a 55 millimeter old macro lens. It's adapted to the Sony. I might also do a 24 and, and maybe uh, get a little closer so I can get more of the trees in the background. Each focal length does give a, a different look for the panoramic image. And I go back and forth on which one I like the best. I'm really liking this manual focus, this old Nikon uh, 55 millimeter. It's, uh, I'm rediscovering how much I like this lens. I've been carrying in it, carrying it a little bit this last week and uh, it's, it's a lot of fun to use.
Isn't that L bracket just hideous? <laughs> it's all I got. The camera's so small and compact, it just makes us look ridiculous. It's all brackets for my bigger cameras. It'll do for now. It works just fine. It just looks silly. Now, what was I? Oh, that's right. Why I'm not shooting film right now. <laughs> <clears throat> My wife said not to do this video, or at least not talk about it. She says, it's nobody's business but yours. And she's kind of right, but when I do different things on this channel, I kind of like to uh, explain a little bit. I, I know I don't have to explain it. It is my channel. It's, YouTube's not my living. It's not how I make money. But uh, I, I'm going to briefly touch on it right now, and uh, then we'll just move on. So over the course of this last nine months or so, it started to become clear to me that 35 millimeter doesn't fit that well with the subject matter I do, or I, I photograph. At times it does, at times it works great. And actually I, I work best <laughs> with the 35 millimeter format but the film itself is the limiting factor. It's just physics. The, the film's really small. It just there's no uh, room for air there. You, you you just can't enlarge it as much as I'd like to in the future. When I started using it, I really didn't think that much about wanting or needing large prints. So I was completely happy and fine with the 35 millimeter and even though i'm not shooting it right now i still have my film gear i'm still i still love doing film photography where i really like 35 millimeter is people photography and and just right now i'm not doing any people or portraits if i have a project for people or portraits it would probably be my first choice so that leaves me with if i want to shoot 35 millimeter a digital camera I could go into a whole long list of reasons why it works better for me for my photography everybody's different everybody has their their own needs I don't always use a tripod today I'm using a tripod largely because I'm doing multi-frame uh, panos and and the fact that I'm doing multi-frame panos is another reason why the digital just works better Having the freedom to adjust my ISO on the fly. I have built-in image stabilization in the camera. I can shoot at lower ISOs without the, the effect of grain or, or noise. Now my heart says, oh, but it's film. <laughs> I, love, I love shooting film. I love that, that simplicity, that, that straightforward approach. But with the gear I have, it, it's just, economically in sense it's not expensive to shoot it's just it limits what i can do to sell i i do this as a business i mean i'm trying to sell art my my zines i want to get into doing pr prints and bigger prints in the future maybe even in galleries who knows but if i'm if i'm stuck in one way that limits some of those potential sales in the future it's probably not smart as a, as, a prof as a professional for me to limit myself that way. It's really easy for me to get caught up in the hype of, of uh, using film. <laughs> I think I've been guilty of just because it was shot on a film camera, it becomes better. And it doesn't. It's not. It's not. It's not any better. I've seen a lot of bad photos for myself on film. And because it... Didn't, it didn't really matter if it was on film or digital. It was a bad film photo is a bad photo, or a boring photo is a boring photo. The good ones are pretty rare. So the more chances, the more opportunity you have to be ready to get the good ones, that's another good reason. That's a good argument for me to continue on with having a digital camera, or at least a digital option. When I started doing film back on this channel, I stated right away that I'm not here to convince you to use film or try film. It was just how I wanted to work. 
and that I'm not here to convince you not to use film or to use film. It doesn't matter to me. But I got to be honest with myself and honest with you that there are times where the right tool for the job is not film. <laughs> it's just if I was doing this strictly as a hobby, I don't know, I probably just do all my photos on film. But uh I'm not, not at that point right now where I can call this a hobby. I've been doing it for too many years as part of my income, as a part of the way I make a living. So I don't see that changing, at least not for the near future. <laughs> I've taken this digital camera out on a couple walks this week, something I haven't been doing with a film camera because it's, it just limits what I can do too much. It's just, it doesn't work that great when the light's not working out. I got actually got a couple decent shots. It, it reminded me that, yes, there's a good reason to always have a camera with you. And uh, it just makes more sense to have a digital camera. <laughs> Unless you're working in light that works well, or your subject matter, it works well to have a film camera. Well, I think I've got all the shots I'm going to do here today in this area. I've had a few different looks. We'll go get home and uh, work these up and see if uh, I've got anything worth uh, using. Could be that the, the, the single shot photos that I've got from here are, are better, but it's nice to have the option, the opportunity to uh, show people a different look. So that's what our goal was today. So I think we're gonna end this video right here. Until next time, thanks for coming along for the ride.